So here he is, folks, the former UFC lightweight champion, Rafael Dos Anjos. Plus skills and finishing instincts in all areas of mixed martial arts. Debuted in the UFC in 2008, and seven years later, realized a dream when he defeated Anthony Pettis over 25 dominant minutes to become the undisputed UFC lightweight champion. Good to see this talented fighter make the walk again once tonight. Gotta think he'll look to use his speed and footwork in this fight. Those appear to be his biggest advantages. Maybe not the most powerful guy on the roster necessarily, but exceptionally quick on the feet. Very good at using his feet to set up angles for his offense and will mix it up a lot of variations to his attacks. Can fight on the outside, but also not afraid to enter the pocket to stick and move. Great job of moving that head off the center line. Just an outstanding striker who brings a lot of different attributes to the table. All right, we get another look at the budding lightweight contender out of Poland, Mataj Gamrot. This guy's the total package, stepped up for the Jalen Turner fight. This guy really can do it all, and he's out to prove as much here again tonight. And he tells you how he's gonna do it. He tells you that you can't stop him from taking it out. And he's going to press you. And he's going to put pace on you. And he's going to be in your face from the very start. Gamron is one of those guys that really does pop off the page whenever you see him because you know he is going to stop at nothing to impose his will on his opponent. No man has been able to finish Mataj Gamrot in nearly 25 professional fights. That is a trend. He hopes to continue here tonight. This is a lightweight eliminator. We'll see how it goes for Poland's Mataj Gamrot. Ready to go here at the Rock, the Prudential Center in Newark, New Jersey. Both athletes have graced the octagon. Let us now see who will have the upper hand in this critical matchup here tonight. And now our kill the tape for this lightweight scrap. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the former UFC lightweight champion, Rafael Dos Anjos. And now, introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Herb Dean, our referee for Ready. this one. Ready. Let's do it. All right, well, the wins continue to pile up for Poland's Mataj Gamrot as this round gets underway. You could argue that he is Poland's best hope for UFC Golden Glory at present. Outstanding with his transitions, a really elite grappler, and that says nothing of his ability on the feet. Truly a five-tool player in a division full of well-rounded fighters. Nice short up across the clinch by Dos Anjos. Great defense. That punch had no chance. Just out of range with that right hook. And there's a takedown attempt. And that left hook landed on the button. Nice single. up now that's a vicious head strike how'd he take it all right working inside his opponent's guard here you cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys guard and you can't have one arm in one arm out guys will start throwing up legs chasing triangle dos anjos is back in full guard now he passes to half guard all right working out of side control here his opponent trying to control posture but you got to be careful here This is some high-level, efficient, effective ground-and-pound by Gamble. 
He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Really good job to land these strikes from top position. Oh, staying busy from top position. He lands another ground strike there. Under three minutes now to go in the round. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking gold. Build your posture, throw your punches, big damage, but then always control the far side underhook. This is a great position for a top fight. So how about that as he pounds him out for the TKO, prioritized the finish tonight, absolutely gets it with style points, a huge, huge result here in this arena tonight. It's always fun to see an athlete tell you what they're going to do, and then they do it. This guy told us he was going to get a finish, and that's exactly what he did. Him and his team are going to have a fantastic time tonight celebrating. They should all be very proud. All right, here now Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 40 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO, Mateusz Gamer! Well, could you imagine what the celebration is like in his hometown right now after he gets the TKO win tonight? He said he wanted to leave the judges out of it. Mission accomplished. Thank you.